a big thanks to Omaze for sponsoring today's video, and we'll get into that later on. I made a video back in 2020 highlighting the top five best electric dirt bikes that you can buy. And since we are rapidly approaching 2023, I felt like that video was due for a refresh. The reason I did that video in the first place was because every video I had seen was a robot voiced over just telling you specifications with no actual real world riding experience. So I wanted to bring that to the table because I am fortunate enough to try all of these electric dirt bikes. So I wanna share what I know about these bikes and hopefully help you guys make a decision if you're looking to purchase one of these bikes. But it is worth mentioning that 2023 is shaping up to be a huge year in the electric dirt bike space. There are a lot of new and exciting electric dirt bikes that are coming to the market in 2023. And those include the Stark Varg, the Cake Buck, the Suron Ultra B, and here in the US, the Suron Storm BF, the Riehu EMR, the Arctic Leopard, the Roar Mantis, the Nikot E-Beast and E-Fox, the Graft, the Secutronic Admit Jet Armor, potentially the Can-Am bikes, and a handful of bikes that I can't even mention publicly quite yet, all of which are bikes that I have already tested or I will be testing in the coming months. So once all of those bikes are fully in production and available for purchase in the US, will include all of those as well. But it only helps to talk about bikes that you can actually go out and purchase. So let's see if the top five best electric dirt bikes have changed since 2020. The best is going to differ from person to person, and I respect that. So as I did in the last video, I'm gonna break these bikes down by five main categories. The categories are best value or bang for your buck, highest performance, best street legal dual sport, best in technical terrain, and the quietest electric dirt bike. There are some categories that you riders are also interested in. So in addition, I'll throw in some other classifications that I also think are worth mentioning. Also, if you're interested in purchasing any of these electric dirt bikes, check out the link in the description for the ECR Marketplace, where we've compiled listings for all the best electric dirt bike dealers who sell all of these bikes and more in the United States. The number one category is budget and affordability. It's the most common question that we get asked here at ECR, and in 2020, I suggested the Suron Light BX to be the best bang for your buck. Well, wouldn't you guess it, the Suron Light BX still wins this category. Yes, the bike has gone up in price since the last video, but it's still proving itself to be the best bang for your buck, which is probably why it's the highest sold electric dirt bike on the market. It goes without mention that the Talaria Sting, which is a direct competitor and in many ways almost identical to the Suron Light BX, is also a great value. Both of these bikes are fun right out of the box, but they can be upgraded a million different ways to suit the rider's needs. These bikes have become extremely popular in the last couple of years, so there's a lot of information out there about the bikes, but a few things to keep in mind are their size and the style of bike. The Light BX is a really small electric dirt bike. It feels a lot like a mountain bike, and that's really how it rides. So for most adults, you're going to want to make the bike a bit bigger, which means modifying the bike. And I'm speaking directly to you taller riders, which we'll address later in some of the additional categories that I mentioned earlier. But the great thing about the Suron Light BX and the Talaria Sting is that you can have a lot of fun on a completely stock bike, but there are so many options to upgrade and customize these bikes to suit your needs. It doesn't matter if you're ripping wheelies on the street, you're riding off road, or you're hitting dirt jumps or anything in between those, these bikes fit all of those categories really well. So for that reason, and the base price, I'm going to classify this still as the best bang for your buck. If you're trying to get into electric dirt bikes and you're looking for the best value, then look for the Suron Light BX, or the Talaria Sting. Moving on to performance. I said I would only recommend bikes that are available for purchase, 
but I'm going to be a little bit lenient on this one because many of you have already pre-ordered this bike. And this goes to the Stark Varg hands down. The Stark Varg is by far the most impressive electric dirt bike that I've ridden. It is insanely fast. It is so well equipped. The fit and finish, the suspension, the chassis design, everything about this bike, if you're an off-road rider, it checks the boxes. If you were interested in an Ulta Redshift at one point, then you're going to love the Stark Varg. And I know that it's not available quite yet, but it will be soon. And having ridden the bike, I can assure you that if you have high performance on your mind, that the Stark Varg is going to check that box for you. But because you can't physically ride the Stark Varg yet, and the Ulta Redshift is no longer a bike that you can purchase, this category is still going to go to the KTM Freeride EXC. This is the bike that I am almost always choosing to ride if I want the most performance. I'll let it be known that it's really not a crazy high performance bike in general, especially when you start comparing it to gas bikes. But when you compare it to every other current electric dirt bike that's not modified, the KTM feels the most like a full size dirt bike. Once again, this is going to change in the near future because the Stark Varg absolutely blows the KTM Freeride EXC out of the water when it comes to performance. So, if you're waiting on an electric dirt bike and you want high performance, the Stark Varg is the bike you're going to want. But if you can't wait, I would check out a KTM Freeride EXC. Moving on to technical terrain. The best in technical terrain is going to the Electric Motion Escape R. And the best way to prove this is that for the top seven bikes to finish the ECR E-Moto class at the Red Bull TKO Hard Enduro this year, five of those were electric motions. If that doesn't prove the point, then I don't know what will. These bikes are incredible in technical terrain, and the Red Bull TKO is about as hard as it can get for riding in technical terrain. Let's talk about a runner-up to the electric motion, though. I haven't done a video with this bike yet, but I have ridden it, and the runner-up is going to go to the Arctic Leopard. The Arctic Leopard definitely takes some DNA from the electric motion, and it's clear when you look at the bike. They have a pretty similar look. They're both Trials-inspired bikes, and I won't get into too many details because I need to do the full review on that bike, but I will say that the Arctic Leopard will be a contender in the technical terrain category moving forward. Back in 2020, we gave this category to the Ubco 2x2 thanks to its dual hub drive motors. And that's still the case, but that bike is a utility bike. And many of you want to know what the quietest electric dirt bike is. So that is going to go to the Talaria Sting. The Suron LightBX utilizes a primary belt drive, whereas the Talaria Sting utilizes a gear drive. And although both bikes have O-ring chains, it makes the Talaria Sting extremely quiet. So if you're trying to sneak around and you want to go undetected without too much noise, then the Talaria Sting is definitely going to be the option. That bike has surprised me time and time again with how quiet it is. All right, next up is street legal, and we cannot deny it. The Zero FX is still the best street legal dual sport. I was honestly expecting to give this win over to the Suron Storm B, but because the Suron Storm B F won't be street legal in the United States, it unfortunately removes that bike from the comparison. The Zero FX is more street oriented than most of the electric dirt bikes that I've ridden and mentioned in this video, but it has the best capabilities for road use and mixed terrain. The Zero DSR X would also win this category, but because of the DSR X's size and weight, it can't really be considered a dirt bike. So, once again, the Zero FX is going to take the cake for the best street legal electric dirt bike. Notice any similarities? This list is largely the same after basically two years, but I promise all those bikes that I mentioned in the beginning are really going to shake this list up, so I expect the list to change quite a bit towards the end of 2023. I did say that I wanted to add some more categories and explanations here, so let's get into that part. I get the question often from taller riders asking which bike they should get. This is a tough one to answer because it really depends on your budget. Taller riders would appreciate the size of a cake calc or a cake buck, but if you're looking for the affordable route, 
the Talaria Sting is definitely a bigger bike than the Suron Light BX. If you're looking for more of a full-size dirt bike, then the Suron Storm B or the Stark Varg will feel similar to the size of a normal dirt bike. Another question I get really often is about best battery range. You'd be surprised to learn that all of these bikes are really similar in these categories. Some bikes have much bigger batteries, but they also weigh more, and they have way more power, which effectively cancels out all of that extra battery capacity. The same goes for smaller bikes. They've got smaller batteries, but despite being lighter and slower, you have to ride them harder to get the full potential out of them, so that also kills battery range. I do have high hopes for battery range on the Stark Varg and the Suron Ultra B. I don't think it'll be anything that completely blows the other bikes out of the water when it comes to range, but I do expect those bikes to produce some better numbers, especially when you're riding them conservatively. Someone asked, how about if you could only have one of these bikes? Which would you spend your money on? I would have formerly said the KTM Freeride EXC, but after riding the Stark Varg, I'm pretty confident that's the bike that I would want if I could only have one. Lastly, another question I heard a lot is, why didn't you mention the Cake, or the Drill 1, or you name another bike? Well, there can only really be one winner and one runner-up. And it's not to say that these other bikes are bad, I just don't think they are the best of these categories. All of these manufacturers are working really hard to come out with newer, better bikes, and I hope to see this list change towards the end of 2023, but these are the best bikes that I think you can get right now. Speaking of the best you can get, I'm excited to be working with Omaze to offer you the chance to win a custom Tesla Model S Apex and support a great cause. The Peterson Automotive Museum. Yes, it's back. One of the most sought after electric vehicles on the market is up for grabs again. And this time, it could be yours. All you have to do is click the link in the description of this video or head to omaze.com slash electric cycle rider to enter. This Tesla is sick. It's got 1,020 horsepower and 1,050 pound-feet of torque and it'll do 0 to 60 in 1.99 seconds. It's got a top speed of 200 miles per hour and a range of 396 miles. Some other special features include the Unplugged Performance S Apex conversion with a 19-piece carbon fiber wide body kit, 21-inch wheels, air suspension lowering kit, carbon ceramic brakes, and the approximate retail value of this Tesla is $263,000. So, for your chance to win a custom Tesla Model S Apex and support a great cause, the Peterson Automotive Museum, head to omaze.com slash electric cycle rider and enter now. The experience closes on January 27th at 11.59 p.m. Pacific Time, and I promise, you don't want to miss this one. So there you have it. Those are the bikes that I consider the best right now. We will do a refresh. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and thanks for watching.